Welcome back. I'm Pat, that Halloween movie collector, and today I just thought I'd throw something together that was funny because on a daily basis, I'm a collector, so I'm usually scouring eBay, and sometimes I just laugh at it. But today I say, you know what, let me just throw something together and just have a good laugh on this Michael Myers Monday. Of all the bad Michael Myers masks that people are selling on eBay. I mean, seriously. I mean, you have to step back and say, are you serious? And some of them are even signed. By, uh, I think there were two of them that I have them on the show that were signed by Nick Castle. It's like, you could, I mean, come on, that's your G shape. You, I'd be embarrassed to put that in front of him. So some just ran across the screen as I was looking through like things that were for sale. So I said, you know what? Let's put it together and uh, laugh on this Monday at some really bad Michael Myers masks. Now this one, I don't even know what what you would call this. Now, anybody watching this after the fact, if you guys are the ones selling this mask, sorry if I insulted you, but you ought to be ashamed of yourself even putting that up there. I mean, what the hell? Did, did you drop it in a barbecue or like run over it? Or were you changing somebody's oil? What the fuck is with all the white, the, the black shit on the side? And it's got a receding hairline like I used to have before I started shaving my head. I don't know. It's, it's, oh, next. Put it that way. Now, next, this one, not the worst. This basically looks like, um, I, I would call this the the Gene Hackman mask because that's for some reason it, like, look at it like, reminds me of Gene Hackman. I don't know why, but the hairline I guess and the, the shape of the face. Another one, uh, yeah, I don't know. It almost looks like a marshmallow, like a burnt marshmallow, like if you're outside camping. And this one, um, I don't even know where you go with this. This, um, like, is like a Frankenstein one with the, with the cut on the top of the head and and that i don't know it's just <laughs> help me out people in the comments there are some names of what you would call these i mean of course people always had names for their masks like the hero mask and the you know warlock and all these different mask names i'm trying to come up with some good names for these and i don't know it's, it's next now this what the hell this actually looks like a kid i used to go to school with believe it or not so that's why I threw it up there. And it looks like he's mad, like he's squinting. It's almost like that, um, the hell is that name of that ventriloquist with that dollar always like this, with that face. But yeah, this actually reminded me of somebody that <laughs> I used to go to school with. So I'm like, I had to throw it up there. And I think this, now this isn't a Don Post one. One or two, uh, I think later on, are actually Don Post masks, which are pretty upsetting too, to see that they look like this. All right. And this one, oh. This one, I don't understand the yellow. I don't know if that's the light, the way it's being lit. But why is he yellow? It's like like it looks like he fell asleep in like some mustard. <clears throat> and the the hair, it's, uh, it's like, that's what my hair used to like when I had hair. It's like my morning hair when I used to wake up. And it looks like he's smiling too. And his eyes are like eh, little cockeyed. And uh, yeah, next, next. This one, this one actually had the potential to probably, if you did, if you do rehauls, you probably could correct this one, you know, change the the dark. I mean, the, the way the black shading is on one side almost looks like a giant birthmark. <clears throat> He's got the little bit of red around the chin. Uh, I, I don't understand. Yeah, of course, you can have a little bit of blood, but it's like this perfect, like he dipped his chin in like uh, tomato sauce, like he was eating pasta. Weird. Yeah, another one with uh, really creepy eyes. And it looks like he's trying to sneeze. It's almost like he's holding a sneeze in. And he came out of a wind tunnel because his hair was like, like he was sitting in that chair during that Maxwell commercial from back in the 70s and 80s. So, yeah, this is another one that's... Uh, and it looks like the chin is part of his neck. It doesn't even look like it's different. So, um, yeah, next. No. Oh. Now this one, this one is like a, this to me, looks more like a mummy, it, not Myers. It looks like a, a mummy Myers or almost like um, if Andre the Giant was wearing a, a Michael Myers mask because he used to have that big freaking hair. He used to get like that. And this one, my God, look at the size of the freaking neck. I mean, I I got, you know, I'm freaking got a beer belly and even my neck's not that fucking big. It's like, what the hell? It's looks more like a mummy than uh, a Myers mask. Next. And this one, <laughs> this is the one. This is actually a Don Post because you can see he's got the Don Post uh, actual uh, tag on it. And, you know, Don Post did do the original uh, masks that they put out. And it was just simply called The Mask. Actually, you go watch. Uh, I'll throw a link up 
in here. Go watch my review on, um, I think it was Dom Post mask. Some of the masks from way back when. I'll throw it up there. Go check it out, and you'll see the different versions. And it was just called the mask because um, they didn't have licensing or anything like that. So this is what. So for all you kids out there now with all the rehauls and all the cool trick or treat masks and all the custom mask makers, people of my generation, now this is what you were stuck with. This is isn't the worst. I just threw it up there because the way the hairstyle, it almost looks like it's a rabbi. I don't know. It's like it should have um, the acidic curls. That's the reason I basically threw it up there. I didn't really shit over the Don Post mask because it's sentimental because that's all we really had back in the day. So that's why I threw it up there. Next. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. This one is going to haunt me in my dreams. Um, what uh, this, this for some reason. Oh, God. What the hell is the name of uh, the friggin um, looks like it reminds me of the, the clown from The Simpsons. Was it Kelsey Grammer used to voice it? <laughs> Freaking, I don't know. And it and it was advertised as, as like a rare Don Post one because it's got blue lips. But you know what? Maybe if you if it's a Don Post and it is a rare version of it, which I don't really remember them having blue lips. I could be wrong. I'm not no mask expert. But maybe shape the hair a little bit. Try to make it look so it's not completely fucked up. Uh, yeah, that, this one is going to haunt me tonight. Next. Now, this mask isn't horrible. It just, and it's signed by Nick Castle. So it's, if you're going to get a mask signed by the, the by the OG shape Nick Castle, shouldn't you? I mean, go get a Tots mask or something. Get a real nice, a decent mask. You don't have to go crazy spending hundreds of dollars and a thousand dollars on custom masks. I mean, that's all entirely up to you if you want to do it and have it signed by Nick Castle. But this, this, uh, yeah, the receding hairline, he's kind of got a big nose. It's just, no, if I'm going to have a mask signed by Don, uh, the OG shape, I'd be embarrassed. Now, this is even worse. <laughs> this one, this looks like, oh, God, what the hell are those, the, those little troll things? We used to get them on pens, and their hair used to stand straight up. And they, they had all sorts of things. Like, you could get little statues of them. They had pens you could put on the top of your pens. That's what this thing looks like. And if you're going to have the shape, sign it, the OG shape, ugh, I'd be embarrassed. So. That was my, I just, I don't know. I was just having fun looking at all these ridiculous looking masks while I was trolling eBay for some more Halloween collectibles, even though I'm trying to save money. But 845 convention, so what the hell am I fucking doing on eBay? That's just what we do. So I figured, let me just throw this out there. For, it's, today's Monday. It's Michael Myers Monday, and I thought it'd be fun to just laugh at a couple of masks. So if you're having a shitty day, I hope you get a good chuckle out of these masks. So make sure you uh, like the video. Come back, go check out all the rest of the content. We had a great interview yesterday with Dustin McNeil, Taking Shape author. And it was a lot of good stuff. Be sure to check that out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't cost nothing. Help a brother out. And then I will see you tomorrow night for our watch along of Halloween Kills. And that's going to be interesting. So enjoy the rest of your Monday, and I'll talk to you soon.